Welcome back trainers. So in this video, we're going to be going over several different things. So we did have a new wave of EX raid passes going out in which I did receive them. Usually I don't report on those seeing that it's been Deoxys over the past several months. It's not really too exciting. You get an EX pass, so on. You go to it and you do that. Deoxys is okay. Defense form for PVP and Great League, right? Uh, but this time around, we do have it in the public race currently. So for the 22nd and 21st, I do believe these EX passes are going to be taking place. We'll take a look at when mine is going to be. And having the speed form return will not make much sense whatsoever. Niantic still has not announced anything yet, so who knows what's actually going to happen here. Just because they haven't announced anything does not mean that it's going to be Deoxys again. They may announce it, I don't know, a week before it happens, a couple days before it happens, and then we're all just going to be surprised, right? We're going to take a few guesses on what that can be. And also, a possibility of a new shiny Kanto Pokemon coming in. But this time, this is actually going to be a really special one to me. I really enjoy it. That is going to be Vulpix. So we're going to be going over all of those details here in just a moment. But first, let's go ahead and go into my items here. And uh, just, I guess, look at my EX Pass, I suppose. I don't really show it, but since it's for a Starbucks, it's not really giving out a specific location. And uh, let's just not go down that route about why. Anyways, here you go. This one is for September 21st at 12 30 p.m. until 1 15 p.m. So I don't know. We'll just have to see what we do get for that. As far as my raid passes, I'm stocked up and ready to go for Mewtwo. All right, now let's go ahead and go over the details regarding the shiny Kanto Vulpix being released and why I think that's a possibility here. So there is going to be an event over in Hokkaido, and this is going to be revolving around bus passes and stuff. I'm not going to go into all those details, but let's go ahead and talk about the dates in which it's going to be taking place. So September 21st until September 29th is when this is going to all be going down. Now, if you're thinking to yourself, well, okay, well, what if they just release the shiny over there? Or what if it's just a Vulpix release? I guess, but what's the point of even re releasing a Vulpix in increased spawns? I mean, it's about time for its shiny release, and it makes perfect sense because we currently do have the Alolan Vulpix spawning in the wild. So maybe that's a hint. I mean, possibly. And also those Alolan Vulpix are going to be possibly shiny for you when you do tap on them in the wild. So it's pretty interesting. I have Go Plus quite a few. I don't wasn't quite a few. This being a little uh, sarcastic. Probably Go Plus one of those and tapped on three of them or maybe two. No shinies yet, unfortunately, but that's okay. They're out there at least. So yeah. Pretty interesting stuff here. I will have the shiny sprites on either side, so you would be able to take a look. The shiny version of Ninetales looks amazing. It's a smoky gray color from its original yellow. And then the shiny version of Vulpix is pretty neat, but when you do evolve it, it looks magnificent. So, very exciting. Hopefully this is going to be released. Unfortunately, you're not going to be able to have, like, really amazing movesets on there. You can have Psyshock, which is pretty good for PvP. But, you know, there's other ones that are really good, like, you know, Flamethrower. I would love to have one of those Legacy in the Great League. That would be great. But this is all going to be going down September 21st until September 29th. All right. So pretty much that's it. All right. We'll move on to the next topic here. And how I think it's going to work is possibly they're going to release the increased spawns there. And then possibly it's just going to be for us in the wild. I don't know if they're going to increase the spawns. We do currently have a task, which I will also put on the side for you to take note of there and make sure you, I don't know, possibly stock up on them right before the event happens. But also keep in mind that on the 16th of this month is when we're going to be getting the third ultra bonus unlock in which gen five Pokemon are going to be introduced. So we may just get a whole switch up of tasks. Therefore, kind of just eliminating all of the Vulpix tasks. They know that you want those once it becomes shiny, and then the spawns are going to be extremely hard to even find, as well as the tasks for those, if they're even going to still be around when they do release this event. That's saying if the shiny is even going to be released upon this uh, whole event deal. So, thought I'd break this down for you really quick. It took a little bit longer than I wanted to, but I really wanted to let you know that, because this is going to be quite amazing if they do introduce it into Pokemon Go. All right, now let's get into speculation as to what the next EX Raid boss can possibly be for the 100th time here. So we do have Darkrai and Arceus pulled up. I do believe Darkrai is going to be a one and done. What I mean by that is we're only going to get one of those like, through a mythical breakthrough. 
If they do release it through the Legendary Raids, I would be quite surprised, but more than likely, if they did do that, it would be around Halloween. It is going to be a mythical Pokemon. And then you have Arceus here, which is sort of the creator of all Pokemon, I guess you can say. And it is going to be quite interesting because it can be any single type in the game. It will depend upon, you know, what typing you do get on how useful it will be because of its moves that it does have. Niantic can change those up at any time, but currently it's going to be most useful to be Ghost or Dragon type if you do get that. Moving on to the next ones, we do have Shaman Sky and Landform which Sky is going to actually be on the ground, and then the landform is going to be up top. Uh, so this is another possibility, and let me tell you this right now, I think that this is what it's going to be. Shaman. I don't know how or which one they're going to be releasing in specific order. Maybe you get the landform, and then you can some, somehow like use candies to make it evolve into the Sky form. But just to let you know right now, the Sky form, which is at the bottom with those ears, uh, standing on all four legs, well, both of them are, is going to actually be an amazing grass-type attacker. Then we have Fion and Manphy here, which are more mythical Pokemon. So, you know, following along the lines of releasing mythicals through the EX raid, kind of like Deoxys, I suppose. That could be an option, but these just might come through, yeah, like, you know, the other mythicals through the breakthrough, which you're going to have to just do quests, and then you will be able to collect those Simple as that, but this is another option that is on the table here as far as usability, maybe in the Great League, but they're nothing like you're going to max out and they're going to go to a raid and absolutely destroy things. They're going to be very subtle Pokemon, as we will see when they come into Pokemon Go. And then we have Deoxys in a shiny form. I just put this one up here because somebody actually commented on Twitter and uh, kind of thought, you know, probably not, probably not, but hey, you never know. And then as well as Regigigas is a high possibility for them to release into the EX raids. Please don't do that. Make it a regular legendary raid. I don't want to get a pass to go get a Regigigas. Oh man, that's going to be something else. It, it is a bit gimmicky in the main series games, the Regigigas, because uh, it does have things that don't allow it to have its full potential right away when you do enter into a battle. Uh, kind of like slacking, you know, with that yawn. So we'll see how all that works, but it's on the table as well. And then the final option here, this is just my personal opinion. And maybe we just might see Giovanni. This is probably not likely. This is highly wishful thinking. I think Giovanni, when he does enter into Pokemon Go, is going to take over gyms. Either taking over the Pokemon in those gyms or simply taking it over much like a raid in which he will have six Pokemon. And this is going to be the first time we will possibly see a 6v6 uh, battle for PvP. Or maybe the introduction of 6v6 in Pokemon Go PvP. And after that we'll be able to do that with other trainers. Or who knows he might just become an EX raid boss and we all have to take him down with his extremely hard team. And he might even have multiple Pokemon. Not probably going to happen. But I thought I'd throw that out there just to let you guys know my thoughts on this. So, All right, trainers. And with that said, let's go ahead and take a look at my recent catches and hatches. So, yes, Abzul and Mawile are in the wild. In fact, I go plus this Abzul here. As you can see, it is uh, caught with the Pokeball. And the IVs are definitely not from a raid or a hatch. As well as a Mawile caught this in the wild. Take a look at that amazing CP. Did have a weather boost on that. Obviously as well, again, the IVs, and it's also caught in an Ultra Ball, confirming that I did catch it in the wild. I did hatch this shiny Elect Kid, which we're going to go ahead and evolve here, because this is going to be my second hatch. So I do want to take a look at my other one. I do have another shiny Elect Kid I did hatch. So let's make sure and uh, see which one's going to be more ideal for possibly the Great League. So I do think that one, yeah, we're going to go with the 658 here. Uh, because Shiny Electabuzz is actually pretty cool. And in the Great League, there are going to be other electric type Pokemon. They're going to be more useful than Electabuzz. But since I have two, might as well go for it. Uh, yeah, so now I have the baby and then this. As far as evolving it into Electivire, I probably won't do that. Seeing that the attack is pretty low. And I'd rather just have the highest attack Electivire that I could possibly have to completely max it out. Uh, so we'll just stick with it like that. Pretty cool looking shiny there. Very nice. Go plus this Vulpix. As you can see, Pokeball. No egg there. It does have hatch IVs for sure, but that Pokeball does confirm I did catch it in the wild. I did go plus this one as a matter of fact, so pretty neat. And let's just go through these. Those are hatches, and then I hatched another Gibble here. So this is going to be the second Gibble that I've hatched in probably a week. 
Uh, pretty neat. As you can see, I got quite a bit of candies. That's because I did put a lot of rare candies into it because the rare candies start to overtake my inventory and I picked the rarest Pokemon to invest it in. And then I did hatch quite a few regionals, including this evil uh, Farfetch'd here. As you can see, that CP. <laughs> Too bad it wasn't shiny. That would have been absolutely amazing. And then we hatched the Tauros and then from the legendary uh, dinner hour yesterday, did quite a few Deoxys, transferred a bunch as well. Really nice going around and just duoing as many as we can. And then we ran into a group and uh, did a few with them uh, for the defense. Did actually get a shiny Onyx, traded it, mirror trade with Scarlet. Uh, didn't go lucky or anything. And then I did go plus this Grimer here. So that's pretty neat. That's going to be my like third Grimer. Second one that I actually caught in the wild myself. Quite a few regional hatches. Uh, Ryolu, uh, the Feebas was the first shiny I got from this event, so we're looking pretty good. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. It really does help me out quite a bit when you do that, and I'll be keeping you up to date on everything Pokemon Go in the future. Thank you for watching, and I'll be catching you all next time. <laughs>